A familiar sight outside of one of London's most popular haunts for the rich and famous. But today, they're not here just to catch a glimpse of the celebrity A-listers on the guest list. The Ivy is celebrating its 100th anniversary with a commemorative green plaque from Westminster City Council. And behind the iconic stained glass windows is one of the many famous regulars, not short of a story to tell. Coming in here with some friends who will be nameless <clears throat> on the same evening that Princess Margaret arrived and my friend disappearing from the table at some point, coming back extremely giggly, she said, I've just worn Princess Margaret's coat. This is one of the most sought after tables here in the restaurant where the likes of Tom Cruise and Kate Moss have sat. It's a million miles away from where it first started, where there were lino floors and paper napkins. Now we're surrounded by famous artwork and dishes made by some of the top chefs in the capital. The venue has had different owners over the years and a major refurbishment in 2015 as it's tried to adapt and keep up with competition in the city. It's very difficult to stay at the top in an incredibly and increasingly competitive restaurant world. And people like new, you know, people want to go to the next hottest place. So for restaurants like the Ivy that have been around for a hundred years, um, it's, it's a job to stay relevant. And that it has, with a host of celebrities caught on camera here over the years, including the supermodel Kate Moss and Vogue editor Anna Winter, Posh and Bex, and the American film star Jack Black. One of the people capturing those moments was Max Chisotti. The Ivy was always very important because you always get a good calibre of celebrity. It's just seeing, you know, the lifestyles of the rich and famous and in their more candid situations sometimes, not always just at official events. Along with its infamous shepherd's pie, it's clear this venue has been part of the city's theatrical history. Now, the hope here is it will remain that way in the years to come. Frankie McCamley, BBC London News, in the West End.